those for me? Yeah, they're for Luke. They were just delivered. Oh. You're dressed for bed. You noticed. Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling extremely fit and exceedingly amorous. Oh, well, lucky me. Yeah. <laughs> and luckily for us, Lillian Holden took the little ones away skiing. Oh, gotta love the quiet. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so in this relative privacy, I thought maybe we would forego Metro and stay home and have a party of our own. Well, we can have a party of our own after the New Year's Eve party. Why waste time? I'm all dressed. Oh, and I can undress you. Lucina, I really want to go. Why don't you want to be alone with me? Wow. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Who are you calling? I was just checking to see if Luke called me. I, I sent him some flowers earlier and I thought... Noah, that's so romantic. Well, it's that kind of night. You're blushing. What kind of plans do you and Luke have? Private ones. Where's Casey? Oh, he's having dinner with his parents at Lakeview and then he's coming here. Honest opinion, do you think he'll take one look and fall madly in love with me again? If you don't knock him dead tonight, I don't know what will. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Don't be silly, darling. We just didn't expect that you would be coming back this evening. Oh, I'm just coming to change. Oh. I'm meeting Noah at Metro. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, those are your, uh, your flowers, by the way. They were just delivered. Oh, thank you. You should get ready, darling. It is not my readiness that is at issue this evening. I have absolutely no intention and no desire to go with you to Metro this evening. You should have married her. I beg your pardon? She's newlywed. She wants to do what newlyweds do. Do not presume to tell me what my wife wants. Well, if you're not up for the task, then you shouldn't have gotten married. At least not to a woman. Where is he? I'm sure dinner just got delayed. He's cool. You know, if he had to cancel, he'd call. Of course he would. I should have checked my cell. What's oh, in here? What, your phone? I must have left it in Henry's room. Casey couldn't reach me if he tried. Well, sure he could. He's got my number and Luke's, and he can just call here and ask for you. Yeah. You know what, I think I'm gonna run back to the hotel room, get my phone just in case. Maybe just stop by the dining room and hurry his dinner along while you're there. Hmm? Well, if I'm there already, why not? And Noah? If Casey comes, I'll text you. Careful what you say, people can over here and misunderstand. You mean, find out about who you really are instead of who you're pretending this to be? This is between my wife and me. Yeah. But your wife is also my grandmother. And seeing you lying to her turns my stomach. You're conning her. All right, first of all, no one cons listen to Walsh. And secondly, I have never asked her for a thing. I'm the one who insisted on a prenup, if you'll remember. Yeah, but you won't touch her. You won't love her. How can this marriage be good for her? I love her. I love her with all of my heart. Now listen to me, Luke. The mastectomy hit her really hard. She puts on a good show of being active, but in actuality, she's shutting herself down. She's hiding away in this house, and that's not good for her. That's why I insisted on taking her out tonight. Yeah, but if grandmother wants to stay in and spend the evening with her so-called wonderful husband, then you should just do that. I am a good husband. And my choices, including when and where we celebrate New Year's, are always based upon what's best for Lucinda. Not always. I thought we were past that. As long as my grandmother was happy, it was none of my business, but she sure didn't look happy tonight. We had a disagreement. You and Noah have had a few of those, as I recall. She's not stupid, Brian. If you're not sleeping with her, she's gonna figure out that something's wrong. The only thing that's wrong is that you interjected yourself into a private matter between my wife and me. Don't do it again. Yeah, I found the car. Is there anything else that might? Okay, a rubber ducky in the tub. I'll make sure to hide that. Okay, do you have some place warm to hang out with Johnny? Are you sure you're gonna be okay tonight? Okay, I'll call you and let you know when it's safe to come back. Okay, bye. Uh, 
Uh, Casey, I, I've been thinking, and, and I, I really see that... What are you doing? Waiting for you. I freaked you out. Uh, kind of. Isn't this what you wanted? I, th I thought we were gonna take our time and, and work up to it. Yeah, we can. But by the way, you kissed me before. I just thought you were ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Not as ready as you are. Um, look, I'm gonna go to hey, the. Take your time. Uh, uh, what about the dinner with your parents and your date? I called everyone. We have all night. go out and, and check it out. Maybe later. Do you want me to go? Ellie, come here. you're going to the party. I was on my way up here to make up with my wife. But I was waylaid by your grandson. And what did Luke have to say? Luke thinks I should take better care of you. <laughs> I agree with him. Listen, then. You proposed to me. You certainly have more money than I do. We live in your daughter's house. I'm a formidable woman. I have a big family, and you knew all of that when you married me. And I'm a strong, stubborn man who tends to balk when he feels like he's being led by the nose. I'm not doing that. What I want is for us to make love at least once. So do I. My plan was to take you out dancing, toast in the new year, and then bring you home here to bed. I want to make love as much as you do. But I'll be damned if I'll perform on command. Well, I'm not going to get myself all gussied up at your whim, either. If you want to go to the party so much, why don't you just go, go by yourself? Just do that. Hey. See my flowers? Ready. Noah sent them. <laughs> I am so in love. <laughs> I never knew it would be like this. Swell. Well, we're going to that, uh, that New Year's thing at Metro if you want to come. Jade. How many times do I have to apologize to you? You know, when you're supposed to be someone's best friend, you don't sell them out the first chance you get. I was trying to save your life. The police were after you. You turned me in. How could you do that? Well, look how awful it ended up. You told the truth, and thanks to Derek, you're sitting here safe and sound instead of on the run or rotting some jail cell somewhere. You shouldn't have lied to me. You know what? I am so tired of being judged. I have been called a liar so many times lately that I can't just stand here and choke it back. So if you want to be mad and sit here all night, fine. Be my guest. 